Hello ladies and gentlemen, Pubmaster Drax here, and I'm making this video because I obviously have not uploaded in quite some time, and study session has been on halt because of that, um, and I kind of want to just elaborate what's been going on in my life as to why I have not uploaded in, I don't even know how long it's been, but it's been a while. Um, for starters, I've been working a lot. Uh, it's summertime, I work retail. People come in at any given time of the day and they need tons of shit, period. My weekends are completely taken up by events uh, such as Warp Tour, which fucking ruled by the way, and then work, which I usually get full shifts. It usually goes, I close on Saturday and then I have to open up on Sunday. And on top of that, where I work at, I work in the electronics department, and it is being completely redone. It is being torn apart and put back together. And there's so much new shit there, and interactive shit, which is amazing for the store I work at. And I'm honestly just having a field day walking around and learning where everything is at now, what the new product is, and using it, because it's pretty badass. Um, next to that, uh, my uncle, uh, who I'm very close to, uh, we're only nine years apart, so we get along pretty damn well. Uh, he was, he's one of the biggest reasons why I play Magic the Gathering, a uh, trading card game, very widely known, that kind of thing. And, uh, we're level one judges, which means that we're certified rules advisors and rules enforcers, and we can apply to be on staff at tournaments. I've been applying to be on staff at these tournaments because I get paid in free product, which is completely worth it, at least in my opinion. Uh, I make a steady, decent paycheck uh, at my current job. Why not make the hobby of playing Magic the Gathering free? Why not make it self-sufficient? Um, sadly, the events that I've been applying for I have been constantly and swiftly denied, so I don't get to go and, and work them. But I constantly try because it's like applying for a job nonstop. Uh, speaking for, or speaking about rather, uh, applying for jobs, I have recently been applying for jobs that are out of state because it's time for me to begin my career, which I would love to pursue a career at a major retailer for uh, magic cards, such as TCG Player, which is in New York. I hope I get that one. But the one I really, really want. Well, there's two I really want right now. One of them is local as to where I live, and it's at a local bar here. And I'd basically be a bartender, and they would work their schedule around my current work schedule, and I'm perfectly fine with that, which means I'd basically work my ass off, come home, play video games, go to bed, rinse, repeat. I'm okay with that. That actually sounds like fun, and I would like all of the possible disposable income that I can get to spend on certain things that I want to do in the near future. Whether it's travel, vacation, doesn't matter what it is, I want the money to be able to do it. Uh, the other job I've been applying for is at Card Kingdom up north in Seattle, Washington. And that place just sounds so fucking cool to work at. Game store, bar, and a cafe. And the pay per hour is insanely good. $25 an hour. Then again, Seattle's minimum wage is $15 an hour, so they did have to raise their pay on that position. It is 40 hours a week, standard schedule, and which is 8 to 5. Uh, you know, you got two breaks, got your lunch. And then they have overtime, which is given to judges, because they want their judges to stick around and run their Friday Night Magics. And I'm like, dude, that sounds so cool. And I've been trying to get this job for the past year now, and I haven't even gotten a call back. And I've... I keep telling them, I'm like, look, you know, I would love to work for you guys, blah, blah, blah. I want to pursue a career there. No response, but you got to keep at it. And I'm keeping at it, and I'm going to constantly gun this one down. I want that job. I want that fucking job. Uh, next to that, there's been some family things going on. Uh, one of the more funny ones is that my grandfather uh, is getting remarried. And that was basically sprung onto my family, and it was a little, it was a little weird. It was, it was, I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of, eh, about it. But, you know, that's that's my grandfather. He can, he's a grown ass man. Um, he can do whatever the hell he wants to do, and if it makes him happy, then it makes him happy, and I respect that. 
Uh, next on the list as to why I'm not uploading is uh, because, let's see here, do, do, do jobs, do, do, do social events, what else has been going on? Um, oh, prospects in life, relationships, gotta pursue them. Sadly, I went through a little bit of a breakup. It wasn't really a breakup, but it, it sucked, you know? I mean, you're seeing somebody, and then they just basically drop the... I'm sorry, but I can't get over this other person kind of deal, and it's, you just sit there and go, like, you know what, that's fine, I, fuck, like, whatever, fuck off, you know, and then you just basically move on from it, uh, and I've been, I, I've been dealing with that for the past couple weeks, because I did like this person a lot, but sadly, they did not like me back, and that's just a part of life, which is completely fine. Um, what's next? What else? Oh, God, Steam Sale. Jesus Christ, let's let's go over the Steam Sale. Um, so on Steam, uh, usually I go just absolute ape shit on the Steam Sale. Uh, this summer I showed a lot of restraint and uh, self-control. Um, I only bought, I believe I bought three games? No, four games. Uh, one of them is pre-ordered, and that is Magic 2015. Uh, which I'm actually looking forward to as a uh, card set for uh, playing the paper game, not not the online game. Um, but I pre-ordered that, and I pre-ordered like the big bundle, so you get like the extra cards and the and the decks to build, and you unlock every deck right off the bat, that kind of thing. And it, it sounds kind of cool. And I've, I'm a huge, huge supporter of this game. And as a judge, if somebody asks me, "Hey, can you teach me how to play?" I point them right to the game, and I say, "This game." You know, Magic Duels of the Planeswalkers. Uh, I believe it's now just called Magic 2014. That's the current one. Uh, 2015 comes out soon. Um, that's the easiest way to learn how to play. The tutorial will seriously teach you how to play in less than an hour, and you'll be, you'll have an understanding of the game. You won't have like this. Oh my god, I can abuse rules and bend rules to my will and do all sorts of crazy synergies and interactions with the cards. Like you're not going to be there quite yet, but you'll know what's happening. So I pre-ordered that. Uh, the other game I bought was Shovel Knight. And Shovel Knight, I've only played about an hour of it. And this game is fucking awesome. It's $15. I'm pretty sure it's on uh, Xbox. I don't think it's on Xbox One. It might be on 360. It should be on PS3. Uh, you can order it on Steam. It's $15. And the game is just like side-scroller role-playing game element. It's fucking awesome. It's so cool. And uh, I, I'm hooked on it right now. Uh, next to that... The game that I was uh, hooked on before that was Dragon Age Origins. Uh, I've never played Dragon Age, so this is completely new to me. And uh, I was struggling with that game for a little bit. It's, it's a role-playing game set in like a very dark universe. Like, elves got out of slavery, humans are killed by everybody else, and dwarves are living in mountains and they have to fight off dark spawning caves. And just, life sucks for everybody uh, equally. And... Uh, you basically play a hero, blah, 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 you know, build up your character, level them up, become like this big badass, that kind of thing. And it's pretty rad. Um, and it's an interesting role-playing game because it focuses more on tactics than it does than just like point and click. And uh, the difficulty settings actually go over that. Like easy is equivalent to normal, but it scales it down just a little bit to the point where you can play it like a point and click RPG game and you don't have to pause and set up tactics like put your range guy in a corner and have them snipe out their range guys or have your healer like you know hiding somewhere healing your your main dudes your you know two strikers or your fighters or whatever you want to call them um, and there's a lot of tact involved and I think it's really really cool and uh, if you guys have not played Dragon Age Origins uh, it came out in 2009 I would highly suggest you buy it and play it and uh, I would say get it during the Steam sale, but that's already passed, unfortunately. Uh, you can probably still get it for real low cheap. I like saying that. Uh, and then the next game I ordered um, was... Uh, I think I think there's one more. Let me, let me check here. Let's see. Oh, Hammerwatch. Yes, Hammerwatch. This is a really cool game. You can do four-player co-op on it, and it's basically just like a hack and slash. And uh, it is super, super fun. And um, I think I played it probably for like six hours in a day. And I beat it. It's a short game. But it's really fun to get your friends over and just play it. So that's pretty much where I've been uh, these past couple
couple of weeks or a month where I don't know how long I've been gone. Like I said, I do apologize for my absence, but um, it's only going to get worse from here on out considering that I am, uh, you know, looking for uh, other job opportunities because I do want to quit the current job I have, but I would like to keep it strictly because of its pay. Um, so I say, you know, thanks for sticking around, guys, if you're still here. And uh, that means a lot to me. And, uh, you know, look forward to the next study session, which is actually going to be on the uh, QBZ uh, 951 assault rifle. Um, and then after that, it's Ace 23, and then we're done with the assault rifles. And then we're going to move on to uh, the PDWs. And uh, I'm going to be doing this until Battlefield Hardline comes out, I feel. And uh, when Hardline comes out, I'll be doing study sessions for that as well. So uh, thank, thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this video and, and putting up with uh, me and my my tardiness, or rather just my shit in general. Uh, until next time, guys, Pubmaster out.